for the broader field of getting regulatory approval for therapies that directly target aging or all cause uh, mortality instead of something narrow defined diseases. And then there's a second part, but I think starting there with like, what's the significance of it as it relates to the larger field of aging? Um, look, life expectancy throughout human evolution was 20, 30 years. For 100,000 years of human evolution, it was 20, 30 years. Think of it. Um, and it's only in the last 150 years that uh, all of a sudden life expectancy tripled, right? It's 80 in the West world. It's it's getting down in the United States. It was 78, now it's 76. Uh, we have a lot of, of problems uh, in dealing with health healthcare in the United States, but it's quite an achievement. But what happened then is people after the age of 60 started getting diseases that were not part of human evolution, okay? In evolution, people didn't get die from Alzheimer and cardiovascular disease and, and uh, 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 Alzheimer's. You know, those are those are the diseases that we got that were diseases of the last 150 years. And what did the government said? The government said, well, let's form the NIH, the National Institutes of Health. And the National Institute of Health will be responsible for preventing and curing those diseases, okay? Uh, by the way, a very successful, you know, a very successful thing because obviously life expectancy and health has been increasing in, in the United States. So the government knows what to do, but we're coming and saying, just a second, remember most of what we've done to increase life expectancy had to do with, a, public health issues, right? How we dealt with the agriculture, how we cleaned the water, built sewers, did vaccination, right? It was all prevention. Um, and we're saying, okay, we got to the fact that we have diseases and we discovered that actually we can have a prevention before those diseases will start. And this is what we're trying to do. Unfortunately, those institutes who are not institutes of health, okay, they're institute of diseases. They're the National Cancer Institute, the National Diabetes Institute, the National Heart and Lung Institutes. Those institutes are saying, excuse me, we have our budget and we have our disease, so, so we're not interested in you. And the only institute that is interested is the National Institute of Aging that gets 3% of the budget for 45% of, 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 of the health cost, right? Uh, so this is kind of where we are trying to come and say, okay, we'll show you, okay, we'll show you that we can prevent not one, not two, but three diseases and mortality in one study. Mm. And What's the tool that we have? And I'm calling it a tool. It's metformin. And metformin is probably the best tool, although there's another drug that is also shown because metformin has shown all that over generations, okay? Metformin has been used in the 1920s and 50s to prevent, um, to prevent flu, to treat arthritis, to prevent malaria, at the time, it was discovered that it lowers glucose in diabetics, so it became an anti-diabetic drug. But actually, metformin didn't start as an anti-diabetic drug, and all of a sudden, you discover it's not only an anti-diabetic drug, because it targets a lot of diseases that are, uh, are age-related diseases, diabetes being one of them. Um, and so we're, we went to the FDA, and we as a bunch of scientists, and we told them, listen, we are planning this study. We want you to hear about the study we're planning. And you, we want you to, we, we want you to tell us if, if you have any comments because we don't want to do the study. And then you'll tell us, oh, you should have done something else. So we mm -hmm. set the, uh, the heads of many of the FDA institutes and, and they said, you know, bring it on. And that's on, on, that's in a movie, okay? Ron Howard did a movie for National Geographic called The Age of Aging. It's a great movie about aging, by the way. You can put it as a, 
as a reference. It's really cool. And he's narrating that. And he's coming with us with the, to the FDA. And he gets the FDA to say, yeah, bring it on, you know? So uh, that's what we're doing. But I want to say what's special about the study and what's distracting many people. They don't get it so much. We're saying, hey, aging will cause your next disease, okay? Um, we don't know what's this disease. We're agnostic to the disease. For every disease you're going to get, you're going to take a point. You know, if your father had heart attack when he was young, you'll get heart attack, okay? If your mother was diabetic, you'll get diabetes next. But you're getting one point over time. And we're going to show that we're taking those bunches of diseases that you can get, and we're just preventing them. And that's mm -hmm. what we want to show that the FDA. And if the FDA says, okay, you showed this to us, that, that will really, because a lot of the people are saying, you haven't proven, you haven't proven yet that you can do something about it. I, I really challenge that. I think we've shown it again and again, but they said, you know, a study like that haven't been proven. FDA hasn't accepted you as, you know, has accepted the study as something. So until you do that, we are not buying into that. So it's very important to do that. What is it about?